Matt, I'm excited about Cisco Live Amsterdam. I know I haven't seen you. Well, I've seen you on camera, but I haven't seen you in a long time since what? Uh, Cisco Live US in June? Yeah. The last yeah. It's been the shortest uh, seven months of my life. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see you too, Kareem. Um, you know, we don't get to spend as much time together as we used to. So I'm really pumped about it. And, um, you know, I've been hearing some good things about what's going to be going on in the Cisco U space. Can you, you tell our, our snackers about it? We've got some exciting stuff. Um, on you know in person we, we we've got our uh, our community to meet uh, our CCIEs um, we have you know we have our staple Cisco U theater this year as well in uh, the hub at Cisco Live and so um, if you're going in person come check us out but don't feel bad if you're not because we are streaming all of our sessions in uh, our YouTube playlist so check that out um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited and pumped. We're going to have our staple speakers, uh, uh, Hank Preston, Quinn Snyder. And I think Matt, you might make an appearance. So I, we'll I'm, I'm working on the content right now, my friend, I'm working on the content right now. So, uh, that's exciting. <laughs> I'm out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Matt? Or what, what are your, what are the things uh, that excite you about, uh, Cisco Live? Uh, oh, I mean, the DevNet zone is going to be jam packed with all the stuff that everyone's used to seeing theater sessions, classroom sessions demos, workshops, all that stuff. The one new thing we are doing this year is a, a partnership with Red Hat. We're, we're running during the whole week, uh, hands-on labs uh, specifically around Red Hat Ansible. So I'm um, really excited about that partnership and, and what we're going to be doing there. Um, but yeah, also we'll be posting videos from the Media Zone and getting all the insights from all the uh, highfalutin Cisco execs and and what's going on in the future of Cisco. So really excited about it. And, um, you know, Kareem, I did have a question for you. So previously, when we were talking about attending Cisco Lives, you noted uh, you were going to take a, your expert exam. Uh, how'd that go? I think I noted that I was going to try the ENCC. So, you know, I think this is what you were correct. You, you were referring to. And I mm -hmm. uh, what I, I ended up doing is I wanted to review uh, my DEF core instead. So I ended up taking the DEF core exam at Cisco Live Melbourne uh, mm -hmm. without even prepping for it. Um, and I did not pass it. Oh, okay. I got about 56% throughout. Um, even though I passed, which is interesting because even though I passed it about when we first released the DEF core, it has evolved a lot. I need to refresh my memory and I'm planning on retaking it in Amsterdam. So oh. you can ask me that question again after Amsterdam. Don't ask me. I'm not planning on taking any. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the other thing I actually wanted to bring up while before we wrap up here is if you are there, um, we talked about CE credit and CE credit automation. Um, we integrated CE credit with the capture the flag initiative. Oh. So um, now you can do the capture the flag and get a CE credit that you can redeem and get recertified. So that's kind of new and exciting as well uh, for yeah. me. So. Yeah. So if you're there on site, um, check out the DevNet Zone, check out Cisco U, and definitely hit up Capture the Flag. That's always a fun one if you have some downtime. Uh, but Kareem, I'll see you there. And, and Snackers, for those of you attending, we'll see you there too. Yeah, come say hi. See you, man. Cheers.